you know, our founding fathers built the Electoral College to safeguard the American people from the dangers of a demagogue and to ensure that the presidency only goes to someone who is, to an eminent degree, endowed with the requisite qualifications. An eminent degree. Someone who is highly qualified for the job. The Electoral College was created specifically to prevent an unfit candidate from becoming president. I am very willing to let the American public judge my physical and mental fit, my physical as well as my mental fit, fitness. There are 538 members of the Electoral College. You and just 36 other conscientious Republican electors can make a difference. By voting your conscience on December 19th. And thereby shaping the future of our nation. What is evident is that Joe Biden is not only a compromised puppet of the CCP, but he's also a corrupt, plagiarizing, rambling, reanimated corpse that sniffs little girls. Any eligible person, no matter which party they belong to. But it should certainly be someone you consider especially competent. Especially competent to serve as President of the United States of America. By voting your conscience, you and other brave Republican electors can give the House of Representatives the option to select a qualified candidate for the presidency. I stand with you. I stand with you. I stand with you. I stand with you in support and solidarity with conservatives, independents, and liberals. Unite for America. Hey, welcome back, everyone. And if you're watching YouTube Censors, this was clearly satire. It's not manipulated video or Russian disinformation or whatever excuse you'll use to further shadow ban this channel. The purpose of this satire is to demonstrate just how utterly ridiculous and hypocritical Hollywood and the DNC media are being in their condemnation of Trump supporters for continuing to fight for this election. As is typically the case, when the shoe was on the other foot, the Democrats and their media took the completely opposite position. We'll get right to that, but first, a quick capitalism break from the only collagen I trust and use. Collagen is an essential building block in the youthfulness and glow of your appearance. Up to 90% of your skin is made of collagen. After 20 years, this essential ingredient decreases its natural production in your body 10% every decade. Folks, I decided to take Ageless Multi Collagen, and the results have been astounding. Get yourself a bag of Ageless Multi Collagen today while it's still 51% off. As an added bonus, if you order today, they'll give you free shipping, free VIP live health and fitness coaching for life, and a free e-report on the 14 foods for amazing skin. And a 60-day money-back guarantee. Go to www.healthwithdronetech.com and order today. Or click the link in the description or pinned comment. So as you may remember both before and immediately after the election of Donald Trump, the media began pushing the impeachment narrative, the Russia stole the election narrative, and then blasting all these protests that began during the inauguration and then never ended. One last gasp, a desperate last ditch effort to deny Donald Trump the presidency as the Electoral College meets across the country today. Protesters encouraging members to change their vote. Protests plan to persuade electors around the country not to cast votes for the president-elect. The Electoral College expected to make it official for Donald Trump today. A last-ditch effort from celebrities and protesters to keep him from office. And an online petition with nearly 5 million signatures. This morning, an unprecedented push for the Electoral College not to pick Donald Trump when they cast their vote today. We're red in Kansas, protesters turning their backs. From Washington to Arkansas to North Carolina, one last attempt to get electors to change their votes. And a handful did. Among them, three in Washington who were supposed to vote for Hillary Clinton, instead voting for Republican Colin Powell, hoping to block Trump's victory. In Texas, two Trump defectors instead voting for John Kasich and Ron Paul. And just a side note, they did the exact same thing after the election of George W. Bush and tried to get the electors to call the election for Al Gore. That's just what they do. Tens of thousands of Americans poured into the streets of D.C. in one last attempt to reclaim what had been taken from them. They pelted Bush's limo with eggs and brought the inauguration parade to a halt. 
The point is, the media didn't attack or demonize these people, but rather protected and promoted them as democracy in action. Unlike now, where they're literally calling us the enemy, promoting imprisonment, and even re-education of Trump supporters. Which I'm sure makes people more trusting and less conspiratorial minded about this entire process. On one hand, you got Biden out there making these half-assed attempts to call for unity, while in the next sentence he's attacking his political opposition, and then his surrogates, his propagandists in the media, his cabinet members are turning up the hate and getting pats on the back for it. And then the cherry on the shit Sunday is them demanding that we all fall into line and accept anything they say or do unconditionally. This from the same people who for the last four years have been resisting. Including Republican officials uh, either uncharitably acknowledge the existence of the Electoral College um, or still find ways to avoid actually acknowledging that Joe Biden is a legitimate president-elect. Well, that reminds me of an article that Ann Applebaum wrote in The Atlantic, which says that history will judge the complicit. Why is it that so many members of the GOP have become quizzling enablers of the undermining of democracy? This brought to you by the publicly funded PBS with $445 million of your tax dollars, you Nazis. That's it for this one. Make sure to hit that like button on your way out and share this video with all your socialist, Marxist, and communist friends. You can find all the links for supporting this channel in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.